Coming from a small town in Mobile, Alabama, full of drugs and violence, Honeycomb Brazy didn't have an easy come up. Witnessing his parents in and out of prison, that's all Honeycomb Brazy knew. With spending over 10 years in jail himself and being shot over eight times, you can say he's even lucky to be alive. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because this one gets interesting. This is Top Trend TV and this is the criminal history and biography of Honeycomb Brazy. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we post a new video every week. Going so hard, what you mean? Why you going so hard? Fired up my job. Don't know that there. Like, I ain't trying to be smart. But if you see it, look at all these beans. I ain't got no talk. Have a couple of kids on, throw the set over and the tag on. Damn, break, break my doubt. It's still four times flesh so I'm a little hit them 10 times for you foul. And that they were the grandparents of a local rapper. They're found inside a burned home. It's a story we've been following since last night. Whoever did this still on the run. Nicolette Schleitzman is live tonight in the Happy Hills neighborhood with the very latest information. Nicolette? Nashawn Terrell Jones, AKA Honeycomb Brazy, was born on September 15th, 1993. He was raised in a small town in Mobile, Alabama and raised by his mother. His father was in and out of jail for murder and his mother was too. So that's all he knew. So Honeycomb Brazy followed in their footsteps, getting locked up at only the age of 13. And this is when he broke into a factory and rode go-karts around until the police came. Unsure of exactly how long he did for this, but after he got out, he was put on probation. He says he didn't even make it to high school and his mother couldn't really say anything about him going to jail because she was in and out of jail herself. And with him going back and forth to jail and his mother going back and forth to jail, he says he usually stayed with his grandmother at the time. Plus he used to stay with his aunt, but he ended up shooting his cousin, which was her son. And this was only at the age of 13. Honeycomb Brazy went to jail for this and his cousin ended up getting paralyzed. He says now though, they're back cool and his cousin is back walking. But at the time, some money came up missing when his father got locked up for murder. So Honeycomb says he was already messed up from his father being locked up and ended up shooting him for taking the money. Honeycomb Brazy didn't get arrested until he was about 14 years old and did about three years for this, getting out when he was about to turn 17 years old. At the age of 16, Honeycomb Brazy would find himself in a world of trouble because he was arrested on charges with first degree robbery and first degree assault, where he says he didn't even commit the shooting, but he took the charges for his friend at the time. And when he was locked up for this robbery and shooting, his friend named Dat that actually committed the robbery ended up dying. And Honeycomb says he died the same day he went to court for these charges. Then I ain't even shit. I got locked back up for my homeboy Dat did this shit, but he dead now, so I could talk about it. But Dat had wet a nigga ass up, raw the nigga ass. I was there right there when that happened. And the nigga ain't know who Dat was, nigga knew me. So a nigga picked the folks on me, but shit, now I know that tell the murder and the robbery first. And I'm on the run and shot a nigga, got me a assault charge. Records show that at 5.45 p.m. on December 12, 2011, the victim was walking in the 800 block of Center Street when he was approached by two teenagers. They stopped and talked for a few minutes before one of the teens pulled out a handgun, then shot the victim in the leg. The second teen, identified by police as Jones, took the money from the victim's pockets. Then both left the scene. Police then arrested Jones about a week later at his house. Officers was working to identify the second robber too. Honeycomb Brazy did about four years for this robbery and got out when he was about 20 years old. Then when Honeycomb Brazy did his time for this, about a month and a half later, he caught a murder charge, still spending every other day. And he did like a year and eight months just for fighting this murder and ended up beating it. Plus, Honeycomb says throughout these years that he's been locked up, he stabbed over three people. Plus, he was actually locked up with his father in the same cell. He says they didn't know because they have the same first name, but don't have the same last name. And he says while they was in there, they was just kicking it and smoking and drinking. And the first week he was out of jail, he got shot eight times one time in the head leaving honeycomb brazy in critical condition and in a coma for about a week doctors even told him he wouldn't be able to walk again and it only took honeycomb a few months to bounce back from this situation and when he got out the hospital he went to the studio 
but he couldn't record because he was too worried about spinning back on the people that shot him eight times. So Honeycomb went back to his hometown and started to put in some work. He says he spent on him so much, they thought it was somebody else spinning. All up until Honeycomb Breezy says he posted a picture on IG, bragging that he was out of the hospital and alive from the situation. Plus, Honeycomb Brazy dropped his first hit song around June of 2018, named Freestyle, and this music video has over 27 million views on YouTube, and most of his music videos pull over a million views on YouTube, rapping about his ops, drugs and guns, plus getting money. But another time Honeycomb was arrested was in 2016 for firearm charges. The court sentenced him to 15 years in prison. The court then split his sentence and ordered Jones to serve 18 months followed by five years probation. But in January 2020, Jones probation officer moved to revoke his probation, alleging that Honeycomb violated the conditions of his probation by having a firearm when he wasn't supposed to have one and first degree possession of marijuana. But while in court, the court couldn't prove that he was in possession of marijuana or the gun. Honeycomb Brazy has also been in a couple more shootouts that could have costed him his life. One is where he was on Facebook Live and him and his homies got into a shootout. While outside of a barbershop after purchasing a Kobe Bryant's jersey, he was in Montgomery County, Alabama, a two hour drive from his hometown, Mobile, Alabama. When a gray BMW slid through, Nobody noticed it the first time it slid, but the second time they let off a bunch of shots at Honeycomb Brazy and his crew, and his crew let off a bunch of shots back. I don't think nobody was hurting the situation, but the outside surveillance footage went viral after Honeycomb released it. Mama, said, we ain't supposed to be there, period. We ain't supposed to be there. We ain't supposed to be there. Places like that, we ain't been no, there. No, nigga, we were there too okay, long. We've been, we been out three down. hours, on nigga. My mama, on my mama. We supposed to be so there's no time for a nigga to whoop whoop. On my mama. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know. Here we going live. But get yeah. what? We don't kill. It's a test. But get what? But get what? I just wanted you to see that. Now you see that when I've been trying to tell you the whole time. These zones don't leave right here. No, we can't be moving like that. Now you got to be according like a we ain't. Niggas can't kill us, bro. Unsure if this is who he's really beefing with, but a rapper that goes by the name of MGM Let that has been going back and forth on IG Live with each other. And recently, Honeycomb's grandparents were killed in their home and then set fire, leaving their home destroyed and two grandparents dead. My condolences go out to his family because that was a crazy situation. Unsure if Honeycomb Brazy has any kids at the moment or if he's in any kind of relationship, but he seems to be very active on social media because he's always going live on Facebook. But that'd be about it for Honeycomb Brazy. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down there in the comments who y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.